everyone. So this is day six, and today I'm going to talk about, I guess, self-respect versus selfishness. Um, I'm learning some something called DBT. It's dialectical behavior therapy, so it's um, useful for anyone really, but people who have experienced trauma as a child, so pretty much everyone, um, and are learning ways to cope with stress, regulate their emotions, you know, deal with relationship trauma, and just basically dealing with life in healthier ways. And one of the things we talked about today was, um, like, the objectives when we get into a conversation with someone. So the first one would be we're objective-oriented. So we want something from someone. We want them to do something for us. We have a request. The second one is maintaining the health of the relationship. And the third one is self-respect. So basically, when you go into an interaction with someone, generally, you choose one of, one of those three things, and that's kind of how you want to approach the situation in order to get what you want out of this um, interaction with someone. One of the ones that I got hung up on today was the self-respect. Um, because for me, having self-respect has always been something that people see as selfish because it's a way that I protect myself. Um, so I always look out for myself first before other people because I because I trust myself more than other people and I know that I'm looking out for my best interest and I don't believe that other people are looking out for my best interest and that's based on things that have happened to me in the past. You know, the people closest to me screwing me over or not being there for me or hurting me, you know, all that stuff. Um, so I guess for me, my lesson is having self-respect, but also not placing judgment on other people and not placing doubt on them because I don't believe that they are good people because that's not fair. Just because, you know, these three people or these people have done shitty things to me in the past doesn't mean that everybody that I open up to and I become vulnerable with will do that. Um, but also, on the flip side, like, it's a group a group lesson that we, we go into. And a bunch of the other people there expressed how they have a hard time um, asking for what they want. Um, they apologize profusely if they may do something that offends the other person. Like, they feel awful and horrible and, like, their life is over even if the person forgives them and everything's supposedly okay. They cannot let it go. So I guess it's kind of... Yeah. Stop it. I'm sorry, my cat is spazzing out. Um, come here. But I guess it's maintaining a balance between those two. So having respect for the other person and obviously being sorry and feeling bad, not bad, but having remorse for what you've done to them. But also at the same time, respecting your feelings. So like if you ask for something and um, or they ask for something of you and you said no, you can apologize and say, no, I'm sorry, I don't feel comfortable with that, or I don't want to do that. But don't then feel so rotten and bad that either you don't say no and don't respect yourself, even though you don't want to do whatever this person is asking, or B, you say no and respect yourself, but then afterwards you feel horrible and you can't stop apologizing to them. So I guess it's like all about what we learned today was all about being able to respect yourself and your wishes and the things that you want while also taking care of the relationship if that's another objective of yours um, if it's, and if it's important to you. So like if it's some guy at work that comes up to you and he's being rude, you can easily say, sir, don't be rude to me. You don't want to maintain the relationship because you don't even know the guy. Um, it's a, I mean, you got to look into it. It's a whole bunch of different things, but just came to my mind because I've had a lot of people tell me that I'm selfish and I guess in a lot of ways it does come across as selfish but in my mind I'm doing it to protect myself so I'm not coming from a place of I don't give a shit about you I don't care what you think or what you do I really just don't care it's coming from a place of I've been hurt and I'm responding as if I were responding to those people who have hurt me in my past so I'm going to look out for myself first before you. So my whole thing is working on letting people in 
and taking them at face value and not placing past emotions and past, um, you know, bad interactions with people close to me on people that I meet in present day. So yeah, um, that's just what I was thinking about and just wanted to share it with all of you.